Hi, Shiva Rajaya here from vitalcoaching.com. The topic for this video is actions speak louder than words. <laughs> um, did you hear or have you been exposed to situations sometimes when somebody uh, tells you they want to, to do something and you believe them and then they don't? So, in my experience, in my field, in what I have been witnessing in life, is that I trust somebody's actions more than words you know if you say that you are a certain being that you are you know compassionate for animals that you love the planet or something and then i see you mistreating animals then i go like okay well it looks like there is something incoherent there the same you know you might be with um you know falling in love with that person and um, you are a woman and this guy says yeah i want to marry you i want to spend the rest of my life with you and then you see that uh, his actions don't match what he's saying. <laughs> you know, he keeps on dating other women, he keeps on being, uh, being out there and uh, not considering you in his choices and, and things like that. So, actions speak louder than words. Um, if, uh, if you only have words, uh, those are very often just empty promises. So, if you are you know, trapped into this zone where you are trying to understand how this works. Why is it that somebody's telling you something and then they are doing the exact opposite? Well, sometimes they are trying to tell you or to accommodate you or to manipulate you or they tell you what, what you want to hear. And uh, just to avoid conflict maybe, to avoid friction, to avoid creating a scene or to avoid drama sometimes. But uh, you have to realize also that, uh, you know, the integrity and the incarnation of uh, uh, skills and behaviors and, and, uh, and values is something that needs to be embodied all the way down into incarnation, into the body and into the actions that, that we take. So when you have an idea, you know, you have an idea or you have a vision and you go like, for instance, yeah, in the context of romantic relationships, a man comes to you and you're a woman and he goes like, I want to marry you. That's an idea. That's a concept. Maybe it's something that he believes at that moment in the, in his reality, in his mental frame, in uh, his uh, model, it might make sense to him. It might be something that he really believes at that moment. But guess what? The reality that you create in life is not just a thought. It must be followed by, you know, an emotional passion and desire and association. It must be followed by a plan, by the desire to invest your time, money and energy into something. It must be followed by actions. And actions, they are, you know, sometimes we have models and visions and things that we would like to do, but they are not followed up by action because we don't have the energy, we don't have the resources, we don't have the skills, we don't have the know-how sometimes. And so that promise that you have in your mind and that you're sharing with other people, hey, I want to go and start this business uh, with some, do some NGO somewhere in India, and you know, they keep on talking about it, and it's lots of beautiful words, but there, it's not followed up by action. So, do you know of anybody in your field who does that a lot? You know, they promise a lot. They, they tell you they will engage. They tell you they will do certain things and they don't follow up with action. Yeah, I would love to see you. I would love to spend time with you. I would love to get to know you better. But then you invite them to connect and then they don't show up. So what that tells you is that there is a desire, you know, there might be a genuine desire in their minds or in your mind, but simply it's not followed up by action because there isn't the space, the energy or the availability. So if you want to, to remember that, and it's something that might save you lots of uh, trouble and question and being there in the confused zone, what's going on with, with this, with this, with these people or in, in yourself is like, it's this, it is actions speak louder than words. And for me, this has become a truth. If I want to check somebody's, you know, integrity, and by integrity is not necessarily that they are doing something wrong, but if I want to check if there is congruency between their thoughts, their intentions, their goals, and the actual embodiment of that, then I'm going to check, you know. And yes, I have some friends in my field who have been promising big plans, you know, they want to create these businesses and stuff and, and launch stuff that is amazing, develop technologies and so on. And they've been talking about it for the last 20, 30 years. 
each time we we meet it's still the same discourse it's still the same passion energy but it stays on the conceptual level it stays on a on a dream level so you can call that pipe dreams as well so you know <laughs> the difference between between this being just a dream a pipe dream and this being a reality if somebody says yeah i would love to do that <laughs> you know ask them specific questions say so when shall we start are you free tomorrow are you free this afternoon to start get started and if they go like try to find an excuse or you know deflect the possibility of getting started straight away then it might mean that it is a possibility in the field but it might not manifest the way you you expect so once you understand this once you understand this dynamic it doesn't mean that there is anything wrong with having dreams and having plans and having ideas but if you don't want to get entangled and engage your time and energy into something that is not going to manifest then do a check-in with that person to see if their actions match their words or promises and especially when it comes to romantic relationships because in the in my process of uh, coaching lots of women on dating and relationships this is a question that comes a lot you know a woman might might be like but he says he loves me he says he wants to be with me I say what actions is he taking to fulfill that is he making plans to move in together to live in the same country as you is he actually moving forward towards that well the thing is that he's still married and he's saying he's going to break her but he's not taking the steps so I'm pushing him to take the steps and you know so it's very simple when you're confronted with that you go like don't be attached to to the dream you know look at the actions and be real and realistic about it is it a pipe dream or is it something once you do the reality checks and you look at that person's choices you go like well it looks like it's empty promises or it looks like no this is real I see actually the person that is invoking this vision and this plan to be together I see uh, him following up with real action making choices in his life that are in alignment with what he is promising and uh, you know it is the same the other way around if you are a man and you are in love with this woman and you want to make your life together and you have these big plans and you have a house and you invite her to come and live with you or you know whatever do a trip together or get married or and she's holding back and she says yeah I really want to do that just give me some time you know how much time do you need <laughs> okay it's like it can happen both ways and um, it's a very simple pattern and the pattern is this is that sometimes this is it the dreams are out there but we don't have the power and the energy to manifest them all the way down into creation and there is you know sometimes conflicting interest or the choices lack of skills lack of energy I don't know it's there is lots of fire in the in the passion itself you might be really taken by the passion and desire and the vision of creating something but then when it comes to engaging into the physical action and physical manifestation you know it doesn't happen so you can consider yourself if you are in that zone uh, you know it's nice to dream dreams are beautiful and <laughs> if you want to change things and bring all that into incarnation it requires to take physical steps physical action so do you have anybody in your field that you know that engages into these patterns of speaking a lot and not fulfilling uh, their their dreams or their promises or is it something that you are doing yourself you know to people in your field or in your environment is it something that you are yourself in this place where you're promising a lot and uh, basically under delivering yeah check it out or are you the other way around you're not promising much but you are over delivering in what you have to uh, in what you have to offer so again to summarize this video actions speak louder than words it's a very simple one. I love you.